Smart Browser Pro is a powerful extension for uh, finding your families and for modifying them. So now we are going to Smart Family Browser. Here you can find all the families that comes from your library. And uh, with Smart Browser Pro, you will have possibility to modify selected families. So let's say if you would like to change parameters of those selected doors, let's say we would like to add more parameters or would like to change some parameter values. So really, if you will try to do this with Revit, just with Revit, uh, then you will see that in order to do some changes in your families, uh, you have to do that manually for just for for every family, just one by one. And here you can select a group of families, uh, go with right click, and here we will have uh, a very powerful function like modify families. Here you have to add the name of your modification. So here you can add the name, how that. Um, uh, the name of modification and here you have to add the name of the person who is trying to modify uh, that doors at the same time if it's needed you can add some short description or some notes about modification what you are planning to do and now we have those families under the separate dialog here we select parameters, you can select uh, more parameters uh, that you would like to modify or to look at them. So in, le in the left side of the tree you will find all possible parameters that comes from that selected families. So let's say we would like to add the width and um, uh, height and for example a lock rail and middle rail parameters. Then the top rail. Okay, and here you can also uh, say what will be the order of that uh, parameters in, in your table. If I would like to mm, delete some parameters or if I would like to uh, do not see those parameters, I can remove that from the list. And after pressing OK, uh, you will see that parameters uh, in your table. So here you will see the parameter names. And uh, now uh, you will be able to do modifications for your families. Uh, but before making some changes, uh, let's look at the left side of the tree. And now we can see that you know, we have filter. We can uh, filter and expand our doors by category, then by family name, and then by type. But anytime you can change that because for that tree, for that left side of the tree, we can, we have a separate configuration where you can say uh, what uh, parameters uh, you want to use in your grouping. So let's now leave this family and type. Also, if you would like to uh, make a filter and just uh, filter some some kind of special families, so you can do that with a right click as well. For example, we can uh, select uh, two families from the list, go with a right click, and here we have functionality like filter by selected data. And now for those filtered families, uh, you can change some values of your selected parameters. So now uh, we have a cost parameter and if we would like to change the value of that cost parameter we need to go with right click and here we will get all possible uh, functions and all the possibilities that we can do with that parameter. Right now we will change the value. So here I will add my new value name and now we will see that value with a green color. So uh, that's uh, uh, here we will see that we are going to, we have plans to change the cost parameter. Also, um, uh, here it's very easy to check what are the values, so how your type names looks and uh, if um, 
um, if the width and height uh, are the same like the type name so here in this table it's very easy to check your data and to look for example the type name and, and your real values of parameters and here we can see that uh, the width value is not uh, the right uh, in the type name so also we can change that value here Okay, and now that value will be also displayed with a green color. And now we, dis we added a task that uh, later we, we will change uh, that value. Now if we would like to add more parameters or delete some parameters, so uh, we can do also with right click. Let's say I can select those two parameters, like a lock rail and top rail for, for that family. And with right click, um, we can also say that we would like to delete such parameter. So now uh, that values will be displayed with the red color and now we, we will see that uh, uh, that parameter in the future will be deleted. In the case if we would like to add new parameters and for example right now we, we see that for those families we don't have such parameter like a lock rail and in the case if we would like to add such we can group that um, uh, we can we can sort uh, all that families according to that uh, lock rail parameter. Now we can select all that empty values, and with right click we can say that we can we would like to add selected parameters. And now uh, the tool uh, will add a parameter exactly with the same name and with the same uh, properties to that to that families. In the case uh, if we need to add new shared parameters also we can very easily do that uh, with right click. I will uh, select um, uh, all these families and for all that selected families with right click we are going to add new shared parameters. Here we need to open a shared parameter file In this dialog you will see all possible parameters that comes from uh, that shared parameter file and here you can uh, select um, uh, what parameters you would like to add and here we'll say that that number in store parameter will, will be instance parameter also if it's needed you can change um, a, a group of that parameter and here you will see what is the type and units uh, for that parameters. After pressing OK, uh, now the tool will uh, show you all that uh, parameters here. And here you will see that now we have added those new shared parameters. And also with right click we will change the values for that selected parameters. And for all that number in store, we will add on one value. So all that uh, changes that you are planning to do in this um, with that doors, uh, you will see with it in the separate um, uh, with a separate tab, because here you will see uh, all the job storing information. So here you will see the day and time. And the task that we that you did for example at that, that day and time you decided to change uh, values for that parameters and here you will see what kind of values you decided to, to add uh, then uh, you have decided to change another parameters for other families so here you will see all detailed information about um, uh, what uh, tasks you are planning to do and uh, after every five uh, tasks, the tool will create you and it will show you a separate, um, uh, like a jobs file. So here you will be able to uh, come back to your previous um, uh, jobs uh, that you want to, to create for those selected uh, families. 
Now, after pressing close, uh, we can save all that process. We can close this dialog. And now, if we would like to run that modification, so we have a separate functionality like run safe modifications. Here you will see all the modifications that you did before. And uh, after pressing OK, now the tool will open every family, every that door family, and will do all those changes. So it will add new shared parameters or it will change um, uh, the values of uh, width, for example, or it will change the values for the cost parameters for some families it will delete parameters and, and so on. So uh, the tool will do all those modifications uh, that you uh, plan it to, to do. So now the tool uh, opens every family, it makes all those changes and then it saves uh, those families to the current version. That's it. Uh, we did all those changes and right now we can uh, go back to the Smart Family Browser. And now we can look if we really did those changes. So actually, after making some modifications, you don't need to do any synchronization. You can go directly to Smart Family Browser and uh, here we can look at the changes so now if we will try to look at our properties here we'll see that uh, we decided to add the code name uh, if this is a shared parameter so we will see that with a blue color and then we decided to change the value for that uh, code name and uh, also we added like a shared parameter like number in store and this is instance parameter and that parameter is added under the group uh, data uh, with a data name and also this is integer parameter and we changed the value to uh, number five.